24. The Three Classes of Reborn Beings The Buddha proclaimed to Ananda, Heavenly and human beings of the Ten Directions, with minds fixed upon rebirth in this land, belong to three distinct classes. The superior class leave behind their homes and cast their desires aside. They live ascetically and develop a mind set on Bodhi, directed toward and fixed upon Amitabha Buddha. They cultivate virtues and vow to be reborn in his land. When such beings approach the end of their lives, Amitabha Buddha appears before them, alongside an assembly of nobles. In a split second they go with him, to be reborn in his land. Thereupon they are transformed and born anew. Within a lotus flower formed of seven jewels, acquiring wisdom, vigor and mastery of supernatural powers. It is for this reason, Ananda, that beings who desire to see Amitabha in this present life must develop a supreme Bodhi mind. They must fix it upon Sukhavati. They must accumulate virtuous roots. They must maintain these roots and direct them forward. By doing so they shall see the Buddha and be reborn in his land where they shall reach the stage of non-retrogression and ultimately achieve supreme Bodhi. Although those of the intermediate class are incapable of living ascetically, if they make great efforts in cultivating virtues, they can develop a mind fixed upon supreme Bodhi, directed toward and fixed upon Amitabha Buddha. If they practice according to their abilities and virtues, reverently uphold the precepts of purity, erect stupas and icons, and feed wandering monks, hang silk fabrics and light lanterns, scatter flowers and burn incense, directing the merit accrued through these actions, toward their desire to be reborn in this land. Then, at the end of their lives, Amitabha's emanation body, with the radiance, marks and characteristics, of the real Buddha, shall appear before them, surrounded by his great assembly, to receive and guide them. Thereupon they shall be led by his emanation, to be reborn in his land, where they shall remain, within the stage of non-retrogression, and achieve supreme Bodhi, in terms of spiritual virtues and wisdom. They are inferior to those of the superior class. As for those of the inferior class, if they are incapable of undertaking virtuous works, they must develop the aspiration to attain supreme Bodhi, and a mind directed toward and fixed upon Amitabha Buddha. If they are joyous and resolute in faith, not giving rise to uncertainty, with a heart of perfect sincerity, and the desire to be reborn in his land, they shall, at the end of their lives, see the Buddha in a dream and attain rebirth. In terms of spiritual virtues and wisdom, they are inferior to those of the intermediate class. If beings abide in the great vehicle, with minds purified and directed toward Amitaeus, then, even if they have practiced Buddha mindfulness, as few as ten times, desiring to be reborn in this land, they shall hear the profound Dharma, and be liberated by faith, and ultimately acquire purity of mind. Within the span of a single thought, from which emerges a mind of single thought, a mind solely mindful of the Buddha, at the end of their lives they shall see him, as if it were a dream, and be assured of rebirth in his land, where they shall reach the stage of non-retrogression, and achieve supreme Bodhi.